good day. In this video, we're going to go over how to create custom outlines um, in case your sprite sheet has like extra stuff on it, or if you just want to select like a, a one part um, of your sprite. There might be an easier way to do this, which uh, I'll probably find out later down the road. Uh, but for now, this is the way I found to do it. Okay, so we're going to go to our sprite sheet, and then we're going to make sure that we're set to multiple um, as far as our um, uh, our sprite mode, so we can edit it in the sprite editor. Uh, we're then going to go ahead and um, pick a sprite that we want to edit. So I had already sort of created someone just to, to test with this, but we go ahead and we'll just, you know, as we did in the individual one, we make sure we got our sprite editor uh, set to just slice, and we'll just go ahead and click and drag and do our best to try to like get it so that it's just the sprite we want. Okay, cool. At this point, we're going to go ahead to custom outline, go to apply. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to create our custom outline. So if we think of it like what's going to be a square that's going to capture just about everything. Um, so if we go ahead here, let's go ahead and just select the majority of our sprite here. And um, did I get that there? Let's try that click and drag again. Okay, good. So now this is basically um, setting up our sprite um, to have a custom outline. So in the case of this one, you know, we're getting a couple blue pixels here and we can fix that if we'd like. We can just add some points. I'm just clicking on the, uh, oh yeah, we wanna make sure snap is selected. And then you see like, I'm kind of just adjusting that to kind of snap around that part of it. Now, if you want to, and then, so anywhere you draw additional squares or, or rectangles or whatever you click and drag to add, that will then add that to your outline. And since I have snap, I don't have to be uh, enabled. I don't have to be super careful. You see how I'm like just kind of getting it there. Um, you, uh, you can just go ahead and, uh, you know, sort of make some adjustments and here we go. It's not that bad once you kind of get the hang of it. Let's just bring that in, bring that in. You see, we got to add another point there. And, oh, let's add you here. There we go. And then add another one like that. And that should be okay just in terms of like it there we go. That's fine because it's been captured by the other one. Uh, so then when we go ahead and click on apply, um, and then when we look at the, and it's sort of, it's going to be difficult to see. Um, I forget which one it was, if it is, which one he was facing. Um, but anyways, you can see that uh, unlike just doing a large, like using the auto slicer or just doing a, uh, like a, a rectangle, um, that's how you kind of get it so that you can do the fine adjustment there. Um, or you can always just pick a different uh, um, a sprite sheet that has a transparent background. Good stuff. I wish you the best of luck.